Yes, this is another DIY annealing machine video, but hopefully this one has a few things that you haven't seen yet. I had a couple design goals that are different than most of the ones I've seen uh, on YouTube, so I thought I'd share those with you. First of all, I have a, this Dillon case feeder that normally is connected to my 650, but I decided to connect it up to this. And so uh, automatic case feeding is a big plus when you have a lot of brass to anneal. Uh, the machine is fairly simple. Mechanically, there's a single motor underneath, a larger stepper motor, which is directly mounted to the plate, and that controls the indexing. And then there's another small motor connected underneath the floor plate, and I think I'll give you a view of that. We'll see if we can see it. And you can see how that is turned on and off and rotates. Now, currently, the machine isn't aligned or calibrated, so we'll have to do that in just a minute. The problem with those 360 degree servos is they're pretty noisy. I might replace that with something else in the future. But let's get to, let's get to cooking some brass. I have uh, about 20 that I want to anneal real quick. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to set this up. So first of all, what we're going to do is calibrate the machine. So I'm going to first go to calibrate. And now as I turn the encoder, you'll see the disc move. And so really what I want to do is center You'll see that's pretty much centered. Okay. And now I'll set my annealing time. Now I know that I want to do roughly 3.1 seconds for the brass. So my annealing time is set. I don't need to mess with bounce. Now I do have some presets. Actually, let me get to that. I missed it. There we go. Presets. So here you can see, let's see if it'll focus. Come on. There we go. In this case, I am doing some uh, six, five Creed more, but I haven't reprogrammed the preset yet, and it really needs to be 3.1. So we'll leave it at the annealing time. And then when we're ready, we simply turn on the floor plate, start the indexing motor. And we've got one more thing to do, right? We have to light it up. technical difficulties. That's looking better. Okay. Now we're ready to feed some grass. We will flip this guy on high. The brass comes out over here. Hmm. 
I'm going to turn up the rotation speed a bit. Hey guys, I was looking at the video before I uploaded it and realized I missed a lot of questions. Um, I've watched enough of these videos to know the kinds of questions that people might have, so I thought I'd write some of those down and kind of cover those in the video. So first one was, what is it made out of? This is all quarter inch aluminum plate, I think 60, 61 aluminum. Uh, I machined it all on a Weiss mill and most of the cutting was done on the table saw. Uh, what about the paint? It's Cerakote High Temp. Uh, I don't remember the, the color, some silver, and then I think, you know, they only had one color for the High Temp, but in blue. I wanted blue. I didn't know exactly um, which color of blue or, or why to pick this one, but um, they didn't have very many selections around the blue, so I ended up with uh, this color of blue. I'm happy with it. Uh, how much did it cost to build? I think in parts, electronics and everything is close to $200 in materials. I had some of the stuff like screws and, and some of the wiring that I needed, so I didn't have to really pay for those. Probably if I had to buy everything, um, $250, $300. Uh, why did I build one instead of just buying one? The, the ones that are out there are great. I, I, really like to build stuff. So this was more of just a fun project. I don't really anneal that, that high volume. Generally when I anneal it's 10, 20, 30 at a time, but I thought it would be fun to kind of uh, build something that was a little bit more automatic. How is it powered? Um, I have a cheap power supply that I got off of Amazon. It's a Chinese model of AL1250. It's a 5 amp, 12 volt power supply. I think they're like $15. Um, the code, as far as the Arduino code, um, if anyone's interested, message me and I'd be happy to share it. I probably will put it up on Git or one of these uh, code repositories at some point. I'm still working on the code, so I probably will always be working on the code. There is always something I want to add. For instance, I want to add a, a feature to just allow manual indexing. So like a button that you press and it rotates the plate for me. Well, that's all the questions that I had that I had come up with. If you have questions, feel free to post them. Let me know. I'd be happy to answer them.